just look like this? Sweet Jamaica. Oh wow. I don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, is this gonna? Oh come on. It was so intense. A light bulb. Freaking crusty. Goes in. Good morning. I was obviously here working early this morning on the computer doing some work. And one thing I want to know uh, about this is that when I sit for a long time, I can't sit for a long time. Let's put it that way. Sitting for a long time is not advised. I've learned because what happens is because I'm like this for a long time, or maybe like this sitting, right? Everything is contracted. Then when I stand up, wow. It is very, very tight, much more tight than if I were to be standing longer than I was sitting. And I've been sitting here for two hours. So I just have to keep reminding myself to get up. And, and when I sit, I do try to sit all the way up straight, but that is so uncomfortable. But that definitely is something that I keep on feeling is when I stand up, I'm like, oh my God, I have to re-stretch. Great, and I'm still tight, and I think the tightness will remain for a long time but it's very uncomfortable. It goes from here, it goes from right here to obviously right down to the waist. Very, very uncomfortable. I have underneath here my skim situation, which is cozy. I bought another one of these yesterday to have two of the shorts version of this. And, uh, you know, it, it does fit well. It's really, really tight, which it's supposed to be. And naturally I have more up here than down here and i try to make sure i sit well because right here when i sit goes in just just naturally how my body is so i try to make sure when i'm sitting i sit straight so that i don't get an indent right here which can happen if i'm not careful so just fyi on that but the getting up is wow it's painful but you know even now as i've been standing up for a minute or so talking to you i feel better Hey, hey, so I left my hair up in this bun today. Really, this bun was there from when I was asleep and when I was showering. And while doing my makeup on the call with my therapist, I was like, let me just keep this in, actually. I think that this is actually a vibe. Not to mention, the base is white and ashy from the product Caking Up, honey. So this, this hair really does, it's on its last leg, and it really does need to go. Today's outfit. <laughs> outfit of the day 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 i had on my jacket from pretty little thing over this of course and one thing to note with the tummy is i'm very indented where the belly button is and then there's a little pooch right here and swelling here so we think that this is swelling i hope it goes down it was bigger so we'll see and i don't have anything else on underneath this except this this is not suctiony. I would not call this a suction type bodysuit, although it is very fitted. I wouldn't call it a skims bodysuit. You feel what I'm saying? It is Amazon. I didn't want to wear my skims underneath it because I don't like that line that beyond the thighs. But I am gonna change soon and put that on with a robe since I'm back home. But I had this on to go to Mimi's doctor appointment. Yes, listen, it is sexy, nice, dressed, feeling good at all times. This is my vibe, 2023 and beyond. That's just what it is. It just, I'm not taking any prisoners, you feel me? This is what it is. I had a jacket on, of course, but I'm just saying, this bun is crooked, but anyway, it was meant to be very sloppy and just thrown it together but let me do lunch and finish up this campaign that is due today oh have i told you oh i, I did i did tell you this morning <laughs> i did tell you this morning i look like i have a lot of white hair and i don't this is the crust from my oh my gosh the edge tamer i've applied it three days so it's build up i'm gonna wash my hair tonight and then do a deep condition and then rinse it out tomorrow and restyle my hair my towel was on my shower and i brought my tripod in because i feel like i want to record that process my skin is itchy girl <laughs> 
that might be an issue. It might be dry. It was freezing outside today. So cold weather does like, exasperate my eczema. So I feel like that's why my skin is feeling dry. Yo, I've told you, okay, I told you about when I sit down, how I feel wicked tight. I still feel tight in general. Okay, this is as far as I can go standing, which is great. I'm standing very straight, but I could not, I, there's no way that I could, you know how you might put your arms all the way up and then stretch all the way back, not gonna happen. And I don't know when that will happen. I'm not in a rush for it, but that's not gonna happen. I just feel so great wearing the skims thing. I'm not gonna lie. Just the freedom of it. It's not tight and yoking me. Oh, it's just good. My skin feels itchy. Something about this procedure has altered the hair on my abdomen. And now I want to laser it, but I'm going to wait a little bit because it's like the hair on my abdomen got harder or coarser or curlier. It did something. Something has happened to the hair on my abdomen and I don't know what it is, but when I touch it, when I'm showering or lotioning, it, it feels coarser, curlier. It feels something. And it doesn't shock me because of the trauma to the skin from the lipo. Like if you ever see lipo videos when doctors are doing it, I mean, it's very aggressive. And then of course the front of my stomach was literally opened up, rummaged through and then put back down. So it just feels, the skin, the hair just feels wild. Not only that, the skin is still sore. So if I'm sitting somewhere for a while or when I get up in the morning because I've been laying on my back, because I'm still doing the back sleeping, I can change now, but I can't lie. It's been five weeks. I'm used to the back sleeping. It just feels weird. Like, I mean, I might turn over a little bit. I'm not a tummy sleeper in general because I hate putting my face on the pillow. I have skincare on, like what the heck. I may do the like arm like this, but I'm so used to the back now and I can't lie. It's better for wrinkles. It's better for signs of aging. So I'm fine with it. The skin is still sore though. If I'm sitting for a while, even in my chair at soccer practice, when I get up, I've been looking all geriatric and I'm like, what is going on? It's because the, the skin of my back, yo, the skin of my back is sore, man. There's no, there's no way around it. And my legs are swollen today. They're usually swollen though, I won't lie. And my ankles, my hands feel swollen too. So I'm still dealing with the swelling. I want to say that uh, five weeks, still having to deal with that, which is normal. I believe I'll deal with intermittent swell. I'm itchy. I believe I'll deal with intermittent swelling for the year, for a whole year. So there's that, you know, when it comes to certain things, it's giving cankles, you feel me? And it's like, oh God. And I was thinking to myself like, oh wait, what's that? Oh, I ate and my lipstick came off a little bit. <laughs> I was thinking of putting my compression socks back on, but I'm gonna go to sleep and lay my put my feet up a little bit. But my hands are swell, swollen, swollen. That's why, you know, in general, I have swollen hand issues anyway. So that's why I don't always wear my rings. It's just like, I need my hands to breathe, you feel me? Yeah, the skin problem. And then it, I feel like I'm getting, okay, so I'm still numb in certain places on my hips. And the front for sure, I'm still numb, you feel me? At the bottom, where the hip to hip is. Although it feels like the sensation is coming back because today I began to notice itching around my incision. And I was never itching until now, which tells me that the the numbing is wearing off or the, or the sensation is coming back, I don't know. I don't think that it's medical numbing that's still long, that's lingering on, I believe it's, maybe the connectivity of the nerves honey i don't know but i'm getting the sensation back which i'm feeling in the sense of the itching from the the skin healing what the, the yeah the scar is healing so it's itchy so today i was like scratching i'm like wait i've never scratched my incision what the heck so i gotta be careful with that i'm gonna uh shower i'm gonna put my the lotion that the doctor gave me on my incision because I'm supposed to put that on twice a day. I did incisions. I'm supposed to apply that twice a day. I didn't realize. I was just doing once a day. God. And I cannot wait for tomorrow's massage because I am just I've been really thinking about that extra fat. Or she said it's tissue. It's not fat, it's tissue that you know that she needs to do all this. We need to get this down both under the armpit area and then my hips. It's, it's sore, you know, it's sore to the touch, but I'm gonna tell her, like, 
you know, mommy, you have to do that. We, we got to do it. We got to, because now that's a real concern for me. I need that to all smooth down. So I look forward to that. And I booked another, I couldn't go today. So I booked another one for Friday. So it'll be three times this week instead of the two, because she's booked on Saturday. I just really want to hit this thing because once this stuff sets, once it sets, it sets. It's a done deal. And I don't want anything to set where it's not supposed to. This needs to go down. It's right here. She's right over here on both sides and it needs to go down. And with the massage, the doctor said with aggressive massaging, it'll go down. And I trust that it will. It's still soft. Oh, Jesus, oh my God. So that's just something to think about. Like, I wonder how people who don't get many massages turn out. And the thing about it is that people aren't, I, I, I haven't seen it. If you've seen it, let me know. I haven't seen the videos where people are coming on sharing all of this. You feel me? And I'm sharing it because it's important. People need to know. Like, did you have any area that wasn't massaged well that turned into, what, what, what is it called when the tissue is just there left over? I don't know what it's called, but you know, did you, did you experience that? Can you tell us how it went? You know, I don't know. I don't be knowing, but I'm just sharing because that, that was a problem for me and I don't want it to be stuck there. And then my hips, I want to massage that so it can go down because it was lipo and it needs to go down. You feel me? To help get the... The curvature how it needs to go oh yeah and then today i was just sitting in the kitchen and i went like this it was like something was just tingling me it was, it was an itch and i'm i thought about it i was like oh my god that's my incision i just scratched it i gotta be more gentle because it just happened out of the blue and that has not been itching me until now so i'm like what and i remember under my breast on both breasts have been numb and they're feeling sore, more and more sore each day. So that tells me that the nerves are waking up again. So I'm feeling stuff, unlike before. I mean, I was feeling some things, but I'm feeling more of the soreness. It's not something that disrupts my day, but I wanna explain that I still have some soreness for sure, you feel me? And then it was itchy because it, the feelings are coming back the sensations are coming back and i could feel it so i scratched it real fast and i'm like oh my god so it's making me remember thank god when my my like you like looking straight on you can't see my scars thank god you know but uh it's making me think of pregnancy with the stretch marks and the itchiness so she did mention bio oil I'm going to show you a fold on my side because of extra skin on both sides. She she mentioned bio oil and she said to purchase it and rub it on there. So let me get bio oil. I don't even know where it's sold. I'm looking at, I look at Amazon for everything. Oh, and my doctor appointment is in three weeks, FYI. And she said at that point we'll do scar therapy. What did she say? Silicone therapy, I believe is what she said. I'm getting this bio oil. It's going to come tomorrow and then I want to be massage in it you feel me and honest to god okay it's gonna come tomorrow honest to god yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be i'm gonna be up in here at every shower you know rubbing myself you know in those areas just something extra because you really can't like honest to god <laughs> I've had enough massages at this point where I feel like if I wanted to, I could do my own damn lymphatic, you feel me? But I don't, I don't feel like doing all that, you feel me? I obviously cannot do the back, but I'm going to do my sides, the areas on the hip and hip that she told me. Because it's a little fold with the skin, I'm going to do that, you feel me? And I'm going I'm to I'm just do my own situation right here. But I'm still going to be going to, to the spa because, you know, that's their job. You know what I'm saying? But... Praise God. Okay, let me shower and wash my hair. My hair is so itchy. Oh, I hate, one thing I hate is itchy hair. Oh God, it's so uncomfortable. Itchy hair is so uncomfortable. Hence why I don't do a lot of like you know braids and stuff like that. Because when my hair is itchy, I don't want to do it. I get angry. Like I cannot. Oof. I don't like to be uncomfortable. I liked my hair straight though. That was just three days. That's not enough. It's so freaking crusty though. The ponytail is clean and good. You might have an idea on how to revive the bottom. Let, leave it below, because if you do, then when I do straighten my hair again, I will do that. And I did a video, I did a Get Ready With Me, where I showed you how I straightened my hair with the Amika blow dryer and all of this. So make sure you watch it. But I like how, my I'm proud of my hair. As much as I put my hair through so much and I be so rough with it, she still be maintaining, yo. She be growing, she be maintaining, she be thriving. 
I praise God. I praise God because I've always had long hair. So, and I've chopped, I've shaved my head off twice. I have shaved my head twice and still. So, praise be. And I'm going to shave it again. I just don't know when. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun doing these hairstyles. But, uh, I like my head shaved. I really do. It's so cute and so fun. <laughs> okay. This is my car? <laughs> hey, what's my car? Why is it open? Yo, this? I'm trying to tell you something. I don't have time to be fooling around with BMW. I, oh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Like, what? You're not gonna come find this key in his bag? Like, who has time for all of this? This is fooling. Like, why is my key doing that? Like, I don't have time to be in public and then my key don't work and then look, I'm trying to steal somebody's car. Yo, talk about another $900. Okay, so this is my third package that I've purchased today is I just purchased another one I have such a headache and let me tell you why <sighs> okay so I told you about how I went to the doctor and I noted some things that I was noticing and she's like you got to do aggressive aggressive uh, tell the masseuse to do aggressive therapy on those areas because it's tissue that is building up it basically gets stuck i think i don't know the proper word and when she said that it scared the crap out of me so i ended up booking a massage for today and tomorrow well after today oh my god what she was doing i'll get to that in one second after today she's like twice a week is fine so i'm like okay so i'm gonna just come next week instead of tomorrow i have such a headache that was so intense i and what I feel fine now. Jesus, lamb of absolute God. I don't know if it's because of my body shape or what, because the area, the space between my ribs and my hip is the space. And that's what creates the small waist, okay? So if you have a space there, you're automatically gonna have a small waist. If not, I don't know, it's a different story. Yo, that area, the skin on the sides hurts. It was literally it feels like it's burning when she was doing the things. So she began with the suction, suction wood, wooden suction thing, and she's doing it. She says, "Lamb, my eyes were watering, yo. My eyes were watering, yo. My eyes were watering. Oh my god!" And I knew she had to do it. She was doing the armpit and the side. You know, it's the area that would usually fold over a bra. She was doing that area. She was doing the hips. Good God Almighty! Thank God there's still some numbing in my. In my I'll keep on saying C-section in my incision, my uh, you know, the hip to hip. So thank God there's still some numbing there because I cannot deal. Oh my lord of hosts, that hurts so badly. Then she was doing the hands, and you know, with more sensation comes more ticklishness. So I was tickly, but I was just so stiff because I'm trying not to feel too tickle, too too ticklish. So I'm stiffing myself, and then she's doing it, doing it, and she knew she had to do it intensely because I told her, my God, she understood the assignment, okay? And then, oh, I, I was just my oh, I'm so I'm so freaking tired from that. And then after that. She did this machine. I don't know what the machine is called. It was it was warm, like kind of hot, not burning, but warm. And then she was doing it was vibrating, and that was like that was fine. That didn't hurt me, and that was a little relaxing. And I was almost falling asleep. And I was laying on my side today because I don't lay on my sides at all. And so I had my arm up, which was unique because she had to get those areas. I mean, it literally was making me so dizzy and lightheaded. I have such a headache right now. That stuff is so painful. So today was my the end of my second 10 massages. So I have had 20 massages so far in five weeks. And I bought another 10 massage package. That's almost $3,000. This is what I mean by, in my experience, it's a lot. Because, yo, I'm not playing these games. I need my results to be fantastic. Do you understand me? It's, nine, it's $8.90 for 10 massages, $89 a massage. And I just now purchased another one. Yeah, I could just go home and leave it to chance. But what? Do I look like I want to leave my results to chance? Absolutely not. Who is chance? You feel me? I don't even know who that is. It's not going to work. So yeah, I purchased it. And I'm going to be coming twice a week. And, I, and even when I lotion now, now that they listen, I just thank God for the follow-ups. Because I've had two or three follow-ups three follow so far in five weeks. I don't feel like people are getting that. When you travel somewhere to go get your procedure done and come back, they ain't getting that. You feel me? And I just love that I've had that because then I can bring things up to her and be like, oh, this and all that. And then she can advise me. Granted, you know, I could call her or text her, but I like to respect her life. And I'm like, you know, if anything, I'll just call her, email Adrian, the coordinator. She's fantastic. I just 
send her messages. But, you know, it's just good to be like, oh, I noticed this, or I got a question about this, this is this. I mean, they're very hands-on, which I appreciate. Listen, this is a lot of money. It's a huge investment, and I appreciate the hands-onness of it all. You understand what I'm saying? And then these massages, like I said, I could chance it and go home and just hope to God that my body forms the way it should form. Like, what? What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Like, I'm even saying it. It's not even English, you know? It's not even, it doesn't even... I'm not even English to my own self. I'm, a, I'm the one even speaking the English. You feel me? Oh, you just lotion, just a lotion. Now I'm like, no, I'm going to massage my hips where the incision is because it's folding a little bit, which is because I had a lot of extra skin and it's swollen. So I massage it and stuff. And it like, wow, the skin is still moldable. So a little bit of massaging actually freaking works. I was doing it last night and I was like, not this actually looking different than when I first started lotioning myself. Crazy. Crazy. So these massages are really powerful. I know I don't I know that I have in the videos that I've heard, folks don't be discussing many massages and they sure the heck ain't doing massages at five, six weeks. I know that for sure. I haven't seen folks talking about it, you feel me? But I'm not playing these games. I'm a hippie person and I need my hips to look how they not the hip, you know, like the, the love handle area. I need that to look how it needs to look. I need everything to be how it's supposed to be, you feel me, before stuff sets in and I'm looking like a damn you know, I don't even know. Like a balloon, you know, squeeze in the middle and I don't know what's going on with the rest of it. That's not going to work for me. Not for this kind of money, you feel me? And the kind of pain, mm -mm. the pain is just even a loon crowd. And in the end, wacky crowd. So, oh God, I'm so glad that was done. I can't lie. That wasn't a very relaxing massage. That was not a relaxing massage. I feel dizzy. I need to go home and take a town off, drink some water. I feel dizzy, but... Good morning, Wagwan. At the same, welcome. I am. Uh, I have an hour, and I need to get ready to get up out of here. I am headed to have lunch with me from from school. At school, I still do that, and I just enjoy it so so much. And I'm setting up already. Set up. Cameras are always set up. You feel me? Cameras, tripods, a whole nine yards. Always set up. Y'all hear me? And I'm going to film just my getting ready process i'm doing it as reels because you know we've got to diversify and i always have my camera situation is this crooked I, I, I need to get the rule of thirds on here but i don't understand why it's not on here and i don't have time to figure out why it's not on here this looks crooked the angle can you see okay. the angle of the camera is looking a little crooked you feel me okay that's looking better i line up the top of the monitor with a line in the house and then that's how i know if it's crooked or not i mean i do my best <laughs> it may or may not be exact but i need i need it to be this is looking a little crooked like it's not lined up uh nah, i don't even know whatever whatever is weird i can always fix it in post when i edit the video i just do this on to go taking me to school <laughs> Woo! all right so yes i <laughs> listen I did not jump on the Fenty vanilla situation when it first came out. In my mind, I was like, do I need this? But I have to remind myself, it's not do I need this. I need to get it and do and make the content. Duh. So that I purchased it after it had sold out. I purchased it on the Fenty site. So I didn't get my Sephora points. Look at my my cooking. Why is it like a cooking hat? What happened to my thing? Did it get did it get messed up in the washing machine? Why does this look like this? This is not how it was supposed to look. My pattern be hold on a second. Is this how it's supposed to look? Something happened to this in the washing machine. Ooh, this thing got messed up. I can't do it. Ooh, you can't even see. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Okay, this thing is so sexy and beautiful. So I did snag it. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm about to do a video. I'm going to use this today as my body lotion as I shower. And I'm going to just film my getting ready process into several different videos. They're going to just be several different videos. And this is one of them. So let me take, roll up my sleeves. I don't want that to be in the actual camera. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. That's not even what I wanted to do. Okay, so here I am. Let me use my remote. I like to use this remote because if I'm away and I just want to turn on, turn off, I could just do that. So here we are, we are recording. No sound, we'll do sound a different way. And I'm not gonna do ASMR, ASM, what? ASA, ASMR, because I'm talking to you. So that's not gonna work, you hear me? We're gonna have the video and you know, you'll see this or you will have already seen this on social. You will have, you will see this reel probably 
because I'm backed up on reels. I listen, one thing about me, I have a lot of content. You'll see it at some point. You feel me? This bottle is so cute. I love the detail of it all. Now, this remote does allow me to autofocus. So actually, let me just hold it and autofocus things. You know, I'm just twist and turn, twist and turn. Yeah, get all the details. I love how this Fenty skin is. Go close. I love how this Fenty skin is in gold. This looks so cute. Is it rose gold? I don't know. If you purchased this, let me. This Butter Drop Vanilla Dream Whipped Oil Body Cream. If you purchased this, let me know, baby. So getting all this B-roll, behind the scenes, B-roll stuff now will make... Oh, it's light. It's light. It's not overpowering. Nice. Can't wait to put this on my body. I'm going to put this on my body everywhere outside of my scars because I do have a scar treatment that I'm using. What is that piece of hair? Oh, but I, I do have a scar treatment that I am using from the doctor. So oh, yeah, I'll be using that. That, what was I going to say? Did you purchase that? Is that what I was going to say? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So now let me stop the video and I am going to shower and then come out and actually lotion my body with the cream and go about my business. You know, something about this whole thing is because I have to wear this garment. <laughs> I mean, I, I try to let my skin dry a little bit before I put um, the, the skims. I call it a garment. What do you call this? Underwear? I I uh, try to let my skin dry before I put it on because it's, you know, imagine putting on something tight when you, ha you have creamy skin. It's uh, it's inconveniencing. It is it is an inconvenience. Uh -huh. And I'm also going to do makeup. So I'll put you here because then when it comes to the makeup, I'm going to go through my, hello, what you trying to do? When it comes to the makeup, I'm going to go through my soft glam situation because that's all I have time for today. And I got to order the knees food because I do take, take something with me to go take him. I used to just go with him and let him eat the school lunch last year. And then I was like, wait, these parents are actually bringing their child food. I should bring him something, shouldn't I? <laughs> So then I decided to, to, you know, start bringing him something. So that's how that goes. Okay, praise Lord. All right, so I've showered. I've done the, done the, I mean, I lotioned up my skin, obviously, and did that portion for the video. Now I'm going to use this Fable and Main Smooth and Shine Hair Oil. I got to hurry up because I got to get, I got to do my makeup very quickly. Smooth and Shine Hair Oil. My hair really, I mean, I can't tell because it's wet. It really should be <laughs> hydrated because I left an overnight mask in my hair for two days. And I'm just that person. Yesterday, when I went to the my edges, so sad, massage, I had my half wig on. Should I do a middle part? I've been a middle part in a long time. I had my half wig on and I just had my hair in the shower cap underneath the wig, yo. You wouldn't have known, you feel me? You would not have known, and that's what I be doing sometimes. And it's been a while since I did it because it's been a while since I've deep conditioned my hair. And that was an Amika hair mask that I was using for the first time. So that was necessary. So what I did was just now I rinsed it out. And, and let me note, what I do with my natural hair is nearly what I do with my natural hair. I don't follow people's rules, you feel what I'm saying? I make my own rules, you heard me? So... I rinsed it out, then used a leave-in conditioner from Cantu. So my hair really is moisturized. I can feel it. And then I just put an oil on top. Hydration is the key for me. The edges are just doing whatever the hell they're doing. This is a huge, huge Eco Styler gel tub that I always buy. Eco Styler is water-based, so I never use this when my hair is straightened. Like it was straightened the other day. I would not use gel. I use it when my hair is wet, you heard, or damp. Like right now it's damp. And I'm doing my middle part. And we're going to do this makeup real fast. You feel me? Because I got to go. And I ordered DoorDash. Does anybody? Listen, I, one thing about DoorDash and Instacart, they got my money. You feel me? Because, yeah, I do have HelloFresh and I have been enjoying it. I have been getting some of the meals on repeat, no lie. <laughs> I have been enjoying it. Sometimes I don't actually want to make a meal. Sometimes I just want the meal to be done. So I'll just get DoorDash. And I have the yearly subscription, you feel me? So I take a lot of gel, as you can see here. And after I tie it down and get to my destination or when I leave the house, my hair is not completely dry. But that's okay, because really what I want is for the front to be laid down. 
the more dense parts of my hair, which is going to be from here back, will still be wet and that's okay. So I do a whole bunch of gel like that. And then I do the got to be. I brush it down and I'm going to throw my, my makeup on, you feel me? Look at that wig in the gar in the not the garbage, in the sink. I need to wash it. It's there as a reminder to remind me to wash it. Wash it. Got to be. This thing is done. Da -da -dun -dun. Da -da 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 -dun done. Done. <laughs> I take a huge glob. The more, the better. And the issue, I need a, do I have another one. Oh, good. The issue with my bun being so low is when I sit in the car, I can't. I'm not comfortable because the bun is. <laughs> touching the back of the car. I can't really rest my head well. You feel me? But I do love this pulled back look. It's part of my, it's it's always in my, dang, this thing is done, 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 done. It's always in the rotation for me. You feel me? So it is my, this one's almost done too. It's one of my easy looks. I just put on another one that I always keep in the rotation. But you know what? I love that top knot pull back and let uh excuse me well it's top knot pull back top knot and then the side the, the two bangs i love that look so much that i'm now going to put that in the rotation i just don't want to kill my curls entirely you know i still want my hair to be curly but uh i do enjoy the loosening of my natural curls as a result of straightening it i have not been to the hair salon in a minute number one is too far Number two, it takes too long, and I got things to do. I don't like to be in a hair salon for three hours. Like, no. I just need to be at the crib, you feel me? So, I just like to figure it out on my own and go from there. I like doing my own hair on my own time. Okay, so here's this. Ooh, it curled back up. <laughs> okay, we're going to slick that down in a second. And then I take it out. Ooh, come on. Slick it down. You hear me? Slick it. Slick it. Slick it. So the gel is step one, because just got to be is not gonna lay the hair down. The gel lays it down temporarily. And then the got to be is on top to give it extra hold. You feel me? That's how I do it. Then we get the ponytail going. And I still have the hydration going even underneath all of this gel. And I take this out before I go to bed now because I don't want to be yoked up all night. I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. And then the next day, I may want to do a different style. You hear me? I really could stay. The, the bun is crooked, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm going to just wrap it twice. And then there we go. So then here, I may take more eco... Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Got to be. But I ain't got time for that right now. And I'm running low. So let me just smooth it with my hands. And then tie it down because I feel like I used enough. If I had my hairspray, the got to be hairspray in this bathroom, I would use it, but it's not here. So here are the wrap strips to tie it all down. And this allows it to stay flat, to mold down, but also for it to get more air in it, for it to dry quickly. I do have my, uh, what's it called? The hair dryer. That I used to use, but I gotta sit down and do that. I, don't have time. I could actually plug it in here though. Maybe I should come plug it in here. Because that thing will be ooh. And it will be drying my hair fast. I should I should come plug it in here, shouldn't I? Hold on a second. Okay, I got it. This is old, but I'll link something similar down below. Cause it do be coming in the clutch and I do because I have breakage in the front of my hair. Sometimes it doesn't lay like it's supposed to, you feel me? So I got all kind of plugs over here. I can't do it. Okay, hold on a second. Because you're doing a lot. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you. All around, oh, maybe you. He is with you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning, in the evening, and you're coming, and you're going, and you're weeping. He is for you. He is for you. I'm gonna soak my elf sponge. Is this freaking? He is for you. He is for you. Oh. 
even get a towel. When I worship, it's therapeutic for me. Some might tap their fingers. Some might hum. I don't know what people do. What do you do? I, I, I worship. I do I worship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I can barely hear myself, but that's okay, though. It's important because this thing going to be on what? It's going to be on fire. It's going to be on burning me down because I ain't got time. Now, is this going <laughs> to... Is this going to make me, like, have to freaking bend my head? Because that is not going to work for me. I need to do it. Stand up straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me. Love is mercy. What song was I singing? Remind me. Just better not go down. Please don't be doing that to me. Don't be doing that. Okay. Praise God. Put this on high. home i never got to show you my outfit so let me show it to you yeah i was in such a rush <laughs> i love this stinking jacket from pretty little thing i wish it had pockets because i'm always trying to go like this but it's not necessary i get why it doesn't have pockets because it's really cute just like this these pretty little thing boots which i just love it's a whole vibe okay so it's given body and then this jacket creates you can't see the whole outfit <sighs> Okay, you get the idea. This is the outfit. And then when you tie it, it's giving, hey, hey now. You know, it just creates a nice silhouette situation. <laughs> yeah, I'm be thinking that I am Hispanic, you know? And then I, and then it went to Africa. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It just be switching back and forth. It be switching, you feel me? Cause I have content that needs to be reviewed. I brought my laptop back over here so that I can just stand here and do some stuff. Just the sitting is too much. Not to mention the swelling from my procedure, the potential swelling. I mean, I do be swelling on and off. And then like I told you, with the procedure, the skin is pulled down and then the abs friggin sold so tightly that it's so uncomfortable when I sit for a long time because then I it gets tight it gets tighter so even when I'm sitting I'm trying to be more conscious of standing up sitting up straight which can get tiring I'm gonna be standing here and doing more just because it feels better let's play some music it's Friday it's Friday and I'm ready to swing pick up my girls I need the body thing tonight Oh, it's all right. Watch your life so weak. When I tell you, don't be story. Your friend who walk on the outside, pick tightly. Walk to the nice, nice Jamaica when it happened in the 90s, man. And the early 2000s. We don't talk about that Jamaica, you know, where the people are. You talk about the sweet, sweet Jamaica. What my father full of girl. I mean, I think I said we have spent time with my father and about three different girls. Yeah, the killer bring away. Did they have teeth tough as a taxi driver? I want to listen to man, the Jamaica that I know. I don't know what kind of Jamaica you know, but I remember a sweet, when I come up a foreign, you know, my father and my stepmother, they, they put fish and bread in my bag, you know, on the plane, you know, a, 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 a fish and bread, they and my brother eat on the plane, you know, we are coming. In the plane. You know, I know nice this man. And when you lose all your shoes, man, you lose one foot of my shoes, I'm going to beg my father for buy. I'm walking around really, with my friend, I'm going to wrap on my reach, my sister, I lose one of my shoes, them. I'm going to wait to reach in the bathroom, man, give me some blasted lick. When I said the box, when she give me the ear, pew! The box ringing on me. Everybody's ringing at me here. Yo, let me tell you something. First of all, <laughs> first of all, we know that with the slave trade, the Jamaicans, we are all, come on. And I Jamaica, come on, you know what I'm saying? In my former life, I was speaking this English. In my former life, in my, in my common life, you feel me? She talks so fast, wow. What, Tash the millionaire, she is hilarious. I just stumbled upon her. She was, 
Yo, man, let me tell you something right now. I feel like I'm listening. This story time was so fast, but I was very engaged. Therein lies the beginning of the problem of this video. See, everybody's dragging this lady like, God forbid, I would never get on my knees to propose to a man. Cool, cool, cool. God forbid me, I'll be the friend that is there shouting, yes, we are about to descend to the ground. So say, excuse me, sir, I'm loving you. Will you marry me? Oh, no, it's getting jerk. Mm -hmm. Jesus. God forbid mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. I'll be your friend. Mm -hmm. I will be there holding mm -hmm. the camera mm -hmm. to record you mm -hmm. as you know why your son is mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. It's the friends that are the problem. It's mm -hmm. not her. Mm -hmm. She got her own issues that we're going to work out with the Lord, but mm -hmm. it's her friends. Personally, I feel like I will be incurring God's mm -hmm. wrath mm -hmm. if I support you in such madness. Mm -hmm. Imagine, like my friend say, wait, I'm going to do something. She's lowering down. I'll be thinking she mm -hmm. must want to fix her shoulders. Mm -hmm. to open her mouth. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. all of my mm -hmm. all of Mm -hmm. Who are the friends in your group that will support you in that madness? You better cut them off. They cut. don't love you. Mm -hmm. They don't love you. No, I don't believe in that. Asking a man to marry you, Jay? Mm -mm. Good. Ooh, my battery was die. Let me charge it. Good morning. Let me tell you. I recently picked up a different iPad. So you know that this is the iPad mini that I have. And I really do love, but I can't lie. I be feeling sometimes like it's small. I know. So let me charge this before this thing acts stupid. You gotta charge your Sony ZV, whatever, whatever. Cindy was here and she has the iPad Air. And I'm like, okay, how does that differ from my MacBook Air? But I like how big it is. So I ended up buying the iPad Air yesterday and I picked it up at the mall. So this is the iPad Air. It is so humongo and I have it right here on this tripod that I just love. I have a little station going on right here in the kitchen. I love it. So here, you're charged up, so ignore the cord. I like how everything is humongous, even when it comes to good notes, which I use a lot to write things, ideas, what I'm gonna do, the weekly plan, whatever. And even when it comes to the actual book, iBook, which is, why is this, oh, honey me. He was using this earlier and he changed the colors of the pens that I use. I like. I like my stuff a certain way. Hey, my baby. Okay, just fix it. You know, even when it comes to the book, the books, like whether it's a devotion or if a devotional or an actual book I'm reading, I love how humongous it is. So I now have the iPad Air, FYI. I just unboxed it and transferred everything later. And <clears throat> I have the MacBook, obviously. I edit reels mostly on that. I use my iMac to edit youtube videos because the file is just so stinking large when i do it on here it's slow it's annoying it's too much i keep this here as a station because i like to stand and do things a lot sitting is just too much and then i don't want there to be too much swelling on my legs so i have this here because i stand here i stand right here a lot <laughs> as you know and then i can be editing really quickly doing whatever whatever one two one two it's, it's basically like my command station i have my coffee this light is really bright so you see the reflection in my glasses. I have my command station, my coffee. No. USPS just delivered this raggedy looking box. I mean, the box was basically open. The box had been through so much in transit. I purchased these luggage tags. I'm really into coach. When I was younger, I was into coach. I still have two pairs of coach sneakers that are in immaculate condition. I mean, I, I've had these sneakers since maybe college, okay? That was a very long time ago, but they're just so cute. I haven't gotten rid of them. I haven't given them away. I like them a lot. But I asked her to get two of these. Anyway, these are really cute. It, took, it didn't take too long for it to come in. Here it is right here. I'm gonna put these on my suitcase. Ads. I have the ones from Amazon, but like, come on, these are cute, so why not? Coach luggage tags. I am not the one to be sitting there at check-in writing my name on these random raggedy paper tags. Not gonna happen for me. And this is just so cute. I love that. And I have my two suitcases. You already know, you feel me? And the Coach Outlet be having some good stuff on sale, you heard? And then I got this cute i what is it? I, not i AirPod. <laughs> this cute AirPod case, cause like why not? Because I ended up did I tell you that I got new AirPods? My other ones, one of them was making this robot noise. I don't know if it got wet or I don't know what happened to it. I don't even know. And that's the one that has my name on the case. Well, this one is just a plain case, and I just don't like how plain it is. So I felt like getting a coach airpod case like why the hell not 
And I think it's so cute because I can hang this inside my purses so that I'm not fishing it, fishing it, trying to find this. You feel me? So this is so cute. And this stuff is really affordable. I'm going to link everything below in case you want it. Like really cute as a gift for someone even. I mean, come on. This is adorable. And then it can still charge in the charging station, which is right here. Let me try it. Uh, okay. I actually can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell because the way I tell that it's charging, shoot. The way that I can tell that it's charging is that this, this light. Okay, JK, when I charge it, girl's not playing. Okay, yeah, when I charge it, I gotta take the case off. Okay, I just learned something new. But when it's done charging, here we go. Obviously, if I were to use a plug-in charger, then I would not have a problem with this at all. But how stinking cute is this? Aw, how sweet. <laughs> I love it. So I grabbed these two. Oops, I grabbed these two when they just came in. Cute, cute gift ideas. In fact, now that I think about it, do I know anyone who's having a birthday coming up? I don't. But I feel like these are really cute gift ideas. I love this so much. This feels big, though. I wish this went... You see that gap right there? I wish that this went over more like that. That'd be nice, but it doesn't. Okay. Anyway. Adorb! I just cut open an avocado and this is an example of something that I'll eat as a snack before I actually have a meal. So I just cut it open and I am going to do my what, what I eat in a day, but I have not finished the video yet. And what I do is just grab a spoon and I scoop it right out of here. I don't make guacamole because it's too much work. I actually enjoy avocados. This is very plain and just plain. And if I eat this, I will literally be full and satisfied for another satisfied i wouldn't say that i'm stuffed it's not like i'm eating a bowl of chinese rice i'm stuffed i'm not stuffed i'm satisfied for another few hours literally and right now it's 12. this is a large avocado so really and truly i'm i have this much left and i feel full so this right here will make me full for a few more hours that is how i you know with keto it changes how much i can eat it changes my app it has changed my appetite all the things i'm not eating as much all the time which I just love. So I feel satisfied. And one other thing too is with the surgery, with the skin being pulled down and my abs being contracted, my stomach feels so tight. First of all, I can see my abs that were already there from working out. So just imagine when I get back in the gym. Secondly, because my stomach is so tight, even without this skims on, when I eat too much, it feels like pressure. Pressure, breath backer. It feels like pressure on my stomach. It, there's no way for the stomach to expand, to be comfortable. Before my stomach was so big that if I ate a lot, it could push out and it was fine. Now, if I eat a lot, there's nowhere for it to go. So it feels so tight on my stomach that it's in fact uncomfortable to overeat. So I've learned that recently and I'm like, you know what? This is actually a good thing. It's giving gastric in the sense where if I overeat, it's uncomfortable because my stomach doesn't have anywhere for it to expand, which is amazing. So now I'm paying way more attention to the fact that even with keto, I can't be eating mad stuff like I used to, at least in one sitting, which is another great way that I know I'm gonna maintain my weight loss, which is fantastic for me because I wanna cut down body fat. I cannot wait to tone up more. Yo, if y'all can't take it now, just watch, just wait. So that I noticed recently, and you know, I was like, oh, I gotta tell them because I wonder if you have had the procedure, is that, has that been your experience? It is definitely my experience. So it just tells me when I stop feeling way too tight, stop. For instance, I just ate that avocado. I feel satisfied, I'm good. I am to come now and be all like, oh, let me go eat this, why? I feel satisfied. Now what I am gonna do, because I want something sweet, because the avocado is bland. I want something sweet, so I've been enjoying these smart sweets. I buy these all the time. They don't raise your blood sugar. They got, now that the carbs are high, <laughs> but I be, I be eating these, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know what to say. I try my best, you know. 18 grams of net carbs per bag. So, you know, we have this. You can't be doing too much of other carbs, you feel me? It does have the sugar alcohols, I don't wanna hear it. Folks eating Chinese rice and 
flour fried chicken and all this stuff. You want to come by allulose and dextrose and ho-hosts. It's not good. Hey, listen, everyone should pick their poison. You feel me? I've been losing a lot of weight on keto and I love it. And yes, I do eat these. Yo, that was so freaking painful. <laughs> oh my God. The skin on my sides toward the middle of my waist is so sore still. And you know, she did this machine, the, that same machine that I've shown you in the past, it's got different tools on it. And one of the things that she was doing was vibrating. That was fine. And then the other one, it was literally sounding like zzz, 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 zzz. so she's massaging it on my abdomen area and my hips and it's it was doing something in my brain you know it, it, is it radio frequency i don't know what it's called it was doing something <laughs> so i had to take out my airpod to do that part i was like whoa this feels weird so definitely a caution she said i asked her what it was called she said gravitation i don't know what that is and uh um, that is definitely a precaution if you have if you're sensitive to seizures radio frequency like it literally feels what, what else have i done that has felt like that i've done something else in my life that has felt like that i don't know what it was it literally feels like it's in your ears and she's doing it on the body you know what i'm talking about maybe i believe it's working it was just it was just a huge shocker i was like what what is this and then she used the hands oh my god the cup it looks like a belt ringing ding 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 bell but the, it's it's wooden and it's hollow on the inside and then she's doing it almost like she's <laughs> blending fufu you know and she's doing it on the body and doing it on the body jesus mm, mm, mm. yo <laughs> huh. i know that it's required so i'll just be sitting there squeezing my face so many ways but i even have a headache literally i even have a headache right now i mean it's worth it it's necessary I know that it's worth it, but wow. Thank God I'm doing two times a week. It's freaking painful. I f I'm fine now, but I feel lightheaded, yo. I feel lightheaded. Oh my God. I feel lightheaded. Not like I'm going to faint. Excuse me. Not even like, not lightheaded. I just feel like I have a headache. A light, yeah, a, a, str a stress headache. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Because I'm squeezing myself like... And then I'm squeezing my abdomen as she's doing it because I'm ticklish. I'm, I'm sensitive. So it's like... Uh, oh. I'm trying not to squirm because all the movements and, and she's using a lot of pressure, which is great. I need the pressure to really get this to do whatever she needed to do. So the level of pressure is in its pressure. Good morning, a few updates. All right, so I have a different thing in my belly button. I got this pack of silicone belly button plugs from Amazon. They come in different sizes. I don't know what all that black stuff is, but they come in different sizes and I was trying to see which one would fit me yesterday. Now, I made a mistake. Let me tell you. First of all, oh, and I also have bio oil that I am putting on my this area because the side right here I had extra skin that was folding over if you've ever seen I've shown you guys my I had skin that was literally like a flap over my hips and when she was doing the tuck a little bit is like wrinkles squished so it literally look, kind of looks like this but it has opened up over time so she told me to be doing this when I lotion and also with the oil so I've been doing that and it has definitely been helping I made a mistake the other day I was I had showered and put back on my skims situation and I forgot to put in something put something in my belly button and she told me that if you wear any kind of garment without something in the belly button it's going to compress the belly button and make the belly button look like like a slit like this. And I knew this, right? And I was, I, I had my garment on, I had this uh, skims on and I was like, wait, did I put something on my belly button? I was like, oh my God, I forgot. Cause what I did was I took out the petrolatum dressing, which I don't need anymore cause my belly button is healed now. And I was going to put in the silicone, but I forgot. 
And I'm like, well, maybe, you know, just one day of, mind you, I've got to treat my chin. I'm breaking out. Just a slam. I'm like, maybe one day of not having it won't be that bad. Girl, the lies. So in the evening, when I took off my garment, Jesus, the Lamb of God, come see my belly button. It wasn't completely closed, but it definitely had gone in like a slant. I was sticking my finger in it like, oh my God, my belly button, oh my God. And it, it's like, a, it's it felt like it was a muscle and it, oh wow, I was so scared. So I'm here shoving in all these silicone things to see which one will fit. And I could feel, when I finally found one, I could feel that it was so tight and I just left it there. I left it there and I showered and then I just put my garment on on top and I've left it since yesterday because my belly is still pliable. So I just know that it was going to just mold over, it's still moldable. I knew that it was going to just mold over the silicone. So I've left it there and I will check it in a sec, but dang, that joint had me shook. I was like, yo, I knew, I knew, but I didn't know it would freaking work, like it would mold or whatever so quickly. I thought sure enough, maybe like another, another day no yo yo it was so mm -mm. another thing so i just changed my massage appointment that i had they're so nice they're just so nice when i call they have my number saved they, they greet me by name it's just great I, I, they're just great so i changed my appointment tomorrow because i need to go in and see the doctor i could have went in today but maybe she's busy today because I sent her a message last night, Dr. Sato, because my masseuse expressed some concern with the skin around my incision saying that it's hard and that I should wear a waist trainer or something to compress me. But remember when I went to my doctor, she said, no, at this point, take off all those things and you can wear the skins if you want. But she literally said, if you want it, you can wear nothing. And I'm like, what? It's too soon. I want to wear something. I like to wear something. So I've been wearing this. And she said, yes, wear this. It's softer, blah, blah, blah. Because with that hard thing, it can lead to the PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which could be permanent or something and just all these things. And I'm like, I'm tired of it. Plus, it was just yoking me up and, and it left that tissue right here. Did I show it to you? It has gone down now. That tissue has gone down with the massages and everything. But when I would put my arm up, it was right here and it's still here a little bit, right? It's still here a little bit, but it has gone down. It was more. So I, I tried to make sure that my skims is over that to help it go down. And then of course with the massages, she's aggressively massaging that in my hips, just the whole thing. So she's like, yeah, stop the garment, stop all that. Like you squeeze in here and then the fat or the, the fluid is squeezing out the top and the, about the bottom, no, 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 no. Okay. And I get it because the masseuse is seeing me all the time and she's giving me her recommendations and my doctor is like, she didn't say this, but I remember my, my instructions very, very well. You follow what I do. If at a year there are some things that you are not happy with, we can correct what is necessary, whatever. So of course, I it, this is a huge investment. I'm gonna follow what she's saying because if anything, then I can say, hey, listen, I don't like this. This is just weird. Let's fix this, okay? So the masseuse is like, you should wear a garment, uh, you should wear a waist trainer, something to compress the mons, and this is hard and all this. And I'm like, okay, let me talk to my doctor. So I had messaged her and she said, why don't you come in and let me take a look. And so I was like, okay. So I made an appointment to come in to see her tomorrow at 9 a.m. So we're gonna go back to the doctor and have her take a look at me. And I'm sure it'll be a real quick appointment. And then I have a massage afterward. But what is so nice is that when I go in for these checkups, I already had a checkup scheduled for th two weeks from now, but I'm gonna go in tomorrow. And I'm sure I'll still keep that one from two weeks from now. What is so nice is going in for all these appointments doesn't cost me more. I already have made my investment. I'm going in, the appointment's like 15 minutes. It's just to check on me, make sure I'm good. Whatever my concerns are, let's address it now. Let's tackle it now. Let's do this. She'll give me advice on, okay, do this, stop doing this, whatever. And it's just nice to be able to do that. Just imagine if I went to a different state or a different country. I don't believe people, like, like you tell me, do you, if you have done this elsewhere, do you have access to your doctor enough to say, 
can you check me and see what's going on because there's something I'm noticing here or whatever. Do you have access to that? Because I can't imagine that you do. And that is what was my, uh, that was a concern for me. They said, it's scary. What if something ain't going right? Like you go to a brand new doctor in your town and looking at you like, well, I don't know what they did or whatever. You know, it's just like, what? So uh, maybe some people are doing virtual visits, but see what I said to her was, I've noticed some toughness and I, I don't think it's a problem. But the masseuse mentioned it. So again, I just want to cover all bases because this is a huge investment, a huge thing. Like, why not? And uh, she mentioned it and I'm just, okay, let me check with my doctor. But I don't think it's a problem. It's just right here along the, not along the incision. It's not like it's, it's not a keloid. It's nothing like that. It's just the skin. Around, and I think my scars are healing very nicely. It's just the skin around it. I think it's just inflamed. I think it's just part of the healing process and I think it'll go away. But she says that she's had 20 years of experience, which I, I do believe, 20 years of experience, and she's recommending that I do X. Then I'm like, well, my doctor said Y. So I need to go with my doctor because this is all, in, in essence, under warranty, if you will, for lack of a better term, so that if anything is crooked or just, not crooked literally, but just like a problem, then I can say, hey, that's not so why well, well, you feel me? Yeah, man, this is just wild. In a way, I was a little bit concerned, but then I was like, no, I trust that this is fine. And I, I also messaged Carmen to ask questions, and she's like, yeah, that hardness went away, you know, within several months, and I, I trust that it will. I keep on touching the areas. My stomach is really, like, has really gotten flat. Of course, the diet is important too. Like, again, I'm not here eating Twinkies, okay? The diet is definitely important too. But uh, yeah, I just lit my candles. I don't know what I was thinking when I got home. I, I went right to my couch, which is, I normally don't do. So it just threw me off. Then I realized my candles aren't even on, except for the ones that are in that are on the, under the heaters. Those are 24 seven. But I never lit my candles, the ones I light. So I just lit those and I need to do my nails. So the last time I did my nails was before the surgery. You feel me? So my nails are six weeks old, my toes. They need to be cut down. They need to be done all over again. They look a real trifling. And the only saving grace is that it's been cold outside. They look so raggedy. So I'm gonna go do my toenails right now and then do my fingernails all over again. These, of course, I've done several times, but you know, they're lifting. They need to be done all over again. They look raggedy as well. So. And let's do these nails. I can't lie to you. I ate for the last time. First of all, I didn't eat much yesterday. And when I did, I stopped at six, which is what I normally like to do. I am hungry, okay? Like, I will literally sometimes be counting down. I feel like I want another coffee. What am I doing? I have to make things my hand. I literally sometimes will be counting down the hours until I get to eat again. Isn't that so funny? Like, because I eat at 12, because I like to fast. I'm literally like, yo, when is it going to be time to eat again? Because your girl is hungry. <laughs> I'm not starving because of the coffee, obvi. But I'm also not satisfied. Like, what? I would like to eat food. <laughs> Hello? I cannot wait for that. I've cleared out my, my studio. Have I shown you that? It's not looking very appealing right now, but I have cleared it out. It's more open and empty looking, which is what I like because it was just too chaotic. It was too chaotic. Oh my God. And have I told you that <laughs> the bedding in my guest room, I never put it back up again because it was too difficult for me to stretch like this. As now, I can stretch like this without a problem. Granted, I feel tight. I feel tight even right here between the breast. I feel tight, yeah, but I can do it, you feel me? And so just imagine going over the bed to try to put the fitted sheet around. I was like, yeah, that's too much work. So I left it, I left it, and I just passed by the guest room and I'm like, yeah, I gotta go make this bed. I'm like, what? So yeah, I feel, I feel good. I'm six weeks today and I really should go to the gym, but I just didn't feel like it, but I'm, I'm ready. I really am ready. I feel great. I know I can do it. I know I can do the workouts and all the stuff. I've just not been doing it for so long that I can't lie to you. I'm, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like working out, but obviously I will because I'm going to be happy with the results once I get back on it. You heard me? I'm going to do my Kiss acrylics, but of course I do I almost said hands. I do feet first. Oh, isn't he? Oh, he's not touching this. I do feet first and then I go do my hands. 
So let's do that. Oh, and I gotta edit some videos. Bless God. What time is it? 1030. Okay, so my groceries just came in from Walmart. If you don't already know, I broke them in the past and I've had Walmart groceries delivery. This is a <laughs> acne thing. What's it called? What's the thing? I forget the name. Pimple paste? I'll show you. I broke it then. No, I've had Walmart groceries delivery plus whatever you call it for three years now. And I I love it. I signed up during COVID and I was like, oh, bet. I use it all the time. I don't go to the grocery store. In the past three years, I've gone to the grocery store maybe three times. I don't go there. I always have my stuff delivered as part of my five things I always splurge on that I talked about on IG and TikTok. Okay, praise God. And I just think, Lord, I can afford it. You feel what I'm saying? And it just makes my life easy. And I do the express sometimes when I want the stuff immediately or I will schedule a time for hours later or the next day. And it's just amazing. I used to do pickup, actually. And then I switched over to the delivery. But I've been using the whole program for three years now. I live by it. So I ordered, and you need to have been killing down these dried apple, dried Fuji apple fruit crisps, freeze dried, excuse me. He loves them. In fact, my, what you call it, my air fryer, I believe is also a dehydrator. I don't use it for that purpose. Perhaps I should try it out. I only have mango, I have bananas. I guess I should try it out one day if I feel like it. And then I got avocado, duh. If you're on keto, you live by avocados. Like if you don't, unless you don't like it, I love avocados, it's just simple and easy. And high in fat, it makes me full quickly when I'm starving. And then I got strawberries, I'm looking at these to see if they're messed up. I hate when they come and they're not good. And I get it, the unappealing thing about grocery deliveries, they might pick out rotten stuff. Well, I've called a fair number of times and been like, I need a refund, like what is this, you know? But usually they're okay this one is okay and i sometimes will use doordash and no is it instacart it's doordash is food i'll use instacart and get groceries from other grocery stores because walmart is obviously just walmart so i may use doordash to get fruit from kroger instead because or heb or sprouts or whatever because i find that sometimes their fruit is better than walmart's fruit i mean let's just let's just keep it a buck you feel me and I got that. I got some broccoli because I be needing extra veggies around here outside of HelloFresh. And what is this? Oh, apples. Yep, we need actual apples. Not from me because I don't eat the fruit. Although, ugh, an apple sounds so good right about now. And I can't lie. I be into these chicken nuggets, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I be into these nuggets, okay? I don't buy a lot of groceries per se because I do HelloFresh, but I will get staples. I do need to get staples outside of that. So I stock up on these whenever I need it. I don't have a certain, you know, I'm not on a schedule to be like only once a week. No, whatever I feel like we need something. Like oh, and I also grabbed bleach because we use a lot of white stuff. Our fabrics are mainly white, so I go through bleach a lot and then tie, but I just needed to stock up on bleach. So I got three things of the splashless bleach because you know what's annoying when you pull your bleach inside of the washing machine and it starts splashing all over you? Come on, that splashless thing is brilliant. If you use bleach, the splashless bleach. Hey! Splashless bleach. If you use this, if you use the splashless First of all, this pimple paste is mad hard. It got me feeling like I'm wearing a, 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 chin, a chin guard, chin guard, like I'm playing football. It's very hard, it's very stiff. Okay, if you use the splashless bleach, comment, let me know, because it's really good. If you don't, you should try it. Because I ain't got time to be pouring something down in the, the drain of the what you call it, and then now my whole shirt, you know what I'm saying, is bleached. Like, excuse me, are you dumb? <laughs> like, how dare you, you feel what I'm saying? So, <laughs> we ain't got time for that. So I'm about to cut these strawberries up because one thing about these strawberries is they will be rotten in 26 minutes. And I hate that about fruit. <laughs> I be thinking, oh, I can get this and put it in the fridge till no, till no. Because when no comes, that, stra that strawberry gonna be rotten. You feel me? So it, it needs to be eaten now. Yo, my hand feels tingly. It's probably feeling freaking salami. Tingly, like numb. I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Should I be on a low salt diet? I don't know. That ain't what Dr. Sox said. I'm going to ask her tomorrow. That ain't what she said, though. She said it was for those those two weeks. She didn't say now, so leave me alone. Okay, praise the Lord. <laughs> Woo! You know, I like that song. I've been drinking one like a cup, but I let my name. I need to come in. 
I like it because it's groovy, but it's actually very, it's about depression. And I picked on that, I picked up on that quickly. And then it's sad. So it's a groovy song, but it's sad. It's like, how do you groove out to something so dark and sad? Isn't that such a strange juxtaposition? You want to be all like, but you're like, wait a minute. Am I grooving to the fact that she feels like she's in her casket? Like, how are we doing this right now? You know, that's how I feel. Crazy. God help us and everybody who feels or has ever felt depressed in the name of Jesus. Come on, I say this table and God almighty. Not me wearing a freaking nightgown, <laughs> freaking nightgown sweatshirt. I'm irritated by the whole thing. You should be too. This whole nightgown thing, annoying. Praise be to Jehovah. I got here in time. So I'm going to go upstairs right now and see the doctor. I told you I was coming because the masseuse had some concerns. Okay, so basically that was a false alarm. Everything is fine. The healing process goes up until a year after the surgery, she said, which I knew. So there's nothing to be worried about. She said, I'm healing very lovely. My scars look phenomenal. And the swelling that happens intermittently is to be expected. And she said to keep the skin situation on just as long as I really would like, essentially. Because even I notice that when I don't wear it and I'm sitting or standing or whatever, the whatever outfit I have on will mold to my body, then making a dent, literally an indent in my stomach. And it just looks like a bubble. It's just weird. So I like to have it on so that my stomach shape just stays in the shape that it's supposed to be in. So I'm healing well. Whatever the concerns were at the spa, she's saying not to worry, this is normal. It's not gonna have a keloid or something like that. So yeah, I'm actually now on my way to the spa. Whoops. Let me make sure, look at me. I always get confused. You press the button, you, you tap it to open, and then you just open it to open. But I always get confused. I try to tap it to open. I see confusion. See my baby forgetting my end. So yeah, that was nothing to be alarmed about. And I changed my appointment that was supposed to be in two weeks to now six weeks from today, which is fine because I'm healing very lovely. So nothing to worry about. She did say that the tightness that I feel now is going to go away. <laughs> And that's how folks, because I feel tightness when I eat too much. And so she's like, that tightness is going to go away. And then that's how folks feel like, oh, I have more space in my stomach. So let me eat more food. Whereas now I feel so tight that I don't want to eat more food. It's very uncomfortable. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I don't want that to go away entirely. Excuse me. I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want that to go away entirely. I'm telling you right now, my saving grace is that I'm already on keto because I'm not trying to act a fool because I've had this surgery. You feel me? It ain't now time for me to be coming eating brownies and all kind of stuff unless it's keto. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then I had no clue, and maybe because she already had already planned on not seeing me for six weeks, I had no clue that I was going to do my pictures today. So we did progress pictures and. <laughs> Uh, I look and feel amazing and then they weighed me. I was 184. 185? One of those. No. I was 195 when I went in for the pre-op. And now I am 184. 
and I knew I lost weight. You can see that I've lost weight, but I'm so happy because I firmly believe that the weight I've lost is not water weight, but fat. And I am so excited. I can feel it. I love it. 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 You know, the whole thing. I am sweating. Is this a good angle? I am sweating. This jacket is so comfortable. We're in a size 16, by the way. I'll link it below in case you want it. This jacket is so comfy. And, and the, the bodysuit, the unitard I have on is sleeveless. And here I am thinking I should layer it with something else to keep me warm. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. That scared me. The, uh, man, that car scared me. The small cars that go boop, 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 and make all those noises. It's too much. Jesus, man. So, yeah, I am, my armpits are sweating. My armpits are always sweating, for God's sake. So, yeah, that went well, and I'm excited about that. Let's get the umbra, the conqueror, the lion is here. Let's start all over again. People who leave backhanded comments will always look like sore losers. And perhaps people don't realize that the comment is backhanded, but then that would lead me to believe that you as a person are not self-reflective, which would then leave me to believe me to believe that you are either just an idiot <laughs> or you, and or you need help. I feel like in this day and age, at our big age, we should be aware enough to know when we're being shady you feel what i'm saying i know when i'm being shady don't tell me you don't know when you're being shady like some stuff people be saying like are you dumb <laughs> are you dumb like are you, or are you okay what is this oh she's crying i don't know like what it is about me that continuously makes me feel like i'm that girl <laughs> <laughs> it's a constant struggle being that girl waking up every day having to look into the mirror and know that I am her it's overwhelming sometimes I thought she was crying I hate it but I'm gonna keep doing it I'm gonna keep doing it I ain't got no choice I ain't got no choice <laughs> And then I'm gonna keep making these hoes mad. I'm gonna keep making them mad. Period. Period. I don't know what, what it is about. No, I am irritated.